at Epcot and we are uh, well hopefully looking to try and get some more booths done today from food and wine um, we had a couple of rides this morning so we've done a test track and figment as well uh, and now we've started eating so the first thing we've had I believe is from flavours from fire or flavours of I think it's flavours from fire uh, so I'll show you what that is uh, and it's really really good so here's what we've got for first uh, dibs on the food so it's uh, corned beef with chips and it's got I don't know what sauce it is over the top of it because I can't see the book what's in it and cheese fondue sauce. cheese fondue sauce it looks really nice and Carl's also got beers which look pretty awesome so this is the I assume they're in order mm -hmm. by colour maybe mm -hmm. But they look oh, cool as well, so yeah, and let's get going. I'm so excited about this. It's my favourite part. Apart from drinking around the world, eating around the world is also very, very good. So let's go. Okay, we've got another lot of uh, eats now. So this one is from Earth Eats, yep. and it is the Impossible Burger Slider, uh, which has wasabi cream, spicy, sp <laughs> spicy Asian slaw on a sesame seed bun. And then this one is from Active Eats, and it is the loaded mac and cheese with uh, bacon, cheddar cheese, peppers, and green onions. So that's, that's another two we can take off our list. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. to the chocolate studio and I have the liquid nitro chocolate almond truffle with warm whiskey caramel and Carl has been to the wine and dine studio uh, and he has a cheese and wine flight we've had some pretty good food already this morning it's very humid though so for me it makes it difficult for me to like eat but the food that we've had has been really really good so on to more boo we've just been to the hawaii booth now and we have the spam hash which i had last year and it was lovely so i just had to have it again this year so here we go Now Carl's just been to the almond orchard and he has a spinach and artichoke uh, dip. dip with crackers. Have the crackers got anything in them? Don't know. Don't know, okay. Cool, that's another one ticked off. Carl's filling in his food passport with all the lovely food that we've had this morning already. What was that one? The almond orchard. And Hawaii, have you done that one? That's doing now. Oh, I don't, you know what? I didn't think we'd had that good done that much, but looking at that page with the stickers missing. We've got some done the other day. Yeah, that's true. That's Steam, right. Yay! And they're also different. And then you're ticking them off as well, what we've added. Yep. Cool. Done.
We've now been to Greece. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> so I've got Spanakopita, uh, and then Carl has a taste of Greece um, as well. It's got lots of little bits on it, and then also a Greek wine flight. We're going to trade that in for our prize for completing uh, Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak. So let's go get it. So we've got a gift for completing Remy's Ratatouille uh, Hide and Squeak. And it is a cup of different designs, but we've gone for, whoops, the figment one. There we go. Yay, super cute. That's cool, we like it. Today you may have seen us uh, eating around the world um, so we had a good good few snacks meals while we were doing that um, it got very hot so we decided to leave that we'd eaten a lot <laughs> uh, and we went home instead so I'm just walking down the stairs in Canada obviously safety first uh, yeah so we went home had a sleep had a bit of a rest and I went back into Epcot again to go to uh, La Celia for dinner steps again uh, and then we're going to hopefully watch illuminations as well so it's going to be a lovely lovely night ah uh, waterfall wow pretty oh so pretty it's nice really pretty It's really pretty around here. Yeah, 
Here is our meal at the Cellier. I have the filet mignon with risotto. What do you have? Uh, the ribeye. Ribeye, oh, it looks so good. And then we had just had to have the poutine because it's absolutely renowned. And also the four cheese mac and cheese. So this entire meal just looks absolutely incredible. So I'm going to tuck in. <laughs> So to finish off, I've had the creme brulee, which has got a maple leaf biscuit on top. And then Carl's had a trifle as well. So she poured hot, is it caramel sauce? Looks like it. Over the top to create a little Mickey and it melted all the way through. Oh. Um, yeah, it's cool. Oh, it's so good. We are home. We are back to the hotel now after an absolutely wonderful evening um, in Le Cellier. So we went to Epcot, uh, we did a couple of rides, um, and then we went to Le Cellier to have food. The food in there, from the videos I'm sure you'll have seen, um, is absolutely beautiful. Um, we had, well you've seen it, the steaks were absolutely gorgeous. Um, we had poutine as well, we had macaroni and cheese, um, and then the desserts were beautiful, the creme brulee, oh, cracks on the top, really creamy inside. Um, now we're on the dining plan, so it was two dining credits for the meal. Uh, we did have to pay a little bit extra because we had the poutine and the macaroni and cheese. Um, but the food in there was absolutely worth two dining credits. And also, um, to be honest, the bill anyway, I think we would have we would have paid that for it because the food was absolutely unbelievable. The setting was beautiful as well. Um, so if you, yeah, m make a reservation at the Celio if you're able to, because it's really, I don't think it's one to be missed. It's really, really, really good. Um, so hopefully we'll get to go again in the future. You know, if, if when we come back to Disney, um, it was just absolutely glorious. So we're going to bed uh, now. I'm going to chill out for a little while um, and then we're back off to Magic Kingdom tomorrow and also we've got Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party tomorrow night which is going to be amazing so we will see you in the morning. Good night!